we start the season in, in 2036, which is a big leap forward, and um, I think that that's going to be our world for, for the next little bit. You can expect the further telling of the story that we started in episode 419, so we're off in the future. The shit has hit the fan, the observers are here. Um, so we're, you know, that, that becomes the, the frame of our final chapter. I don't think I will miss alternate Brills this season when I'm working because playing Brills, uh, primary Brills, 25 years older, is going to be different enough that I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Jumping forward to 2036, you know, in a world with a bunch of, you know, bald men, you know, in charge, I think that's kind of far out. We will prefer to go the way of the the more likable, lovable family Walter than, than any of the other versions, I think, because that's the one upon which we founded Fringe um, in the beginning. A lot of people are fearful he's going to turn into this really hard-ass, nasty man. That's not going to happen. He'll go through a lot in this season. He'll be challenged a lot and eventually we'll, we'll find some sort of redemption. He's going to be in charge as much as he can of, of human affairs in Fringe Division, um, but still kind of working with occupied and occupied territory with the observers. It certainly was a an unexpected gift when we got the, the final pickup because there was we were pretty certain that it was going to be the end last year. You've got a confidence that it's like okay I have 13 I'm gonna tell the story and everything everything is gonna be great but you also have the you know the expectations of responsibility to the fans and who I care a great deal about. It's on your shoulders to finish the series in a way that everybody would find satisfactory. Walking into to season five knowing that this is it, knowing that we get to finish the show, you know, like on our terms too, you know, like the writers really get to kind of they get to do it right. Like there's no excuses. This is extremely exciting, and it doesn't happen all that often. So I think that the, I mean, it's like bittersweet. It's like, well, we're saying goodbye, but we know that we are. So let's make the most of it. The relationships resolve mm -hmm. in whichever way that they do. We there's nothing le that has to be left open for next year. We, we're able to bring all of these characters to their terminus point. I don't mean that in a negative way. I just mean you get to finally have. Wyman will get to choose the way in which he wants to leave these characters with the audience and then put it to bed. This season is going to be made for the fans, you know. This is for the people that have been following and watching and that, you know, really wanted us to come back. So therefore, that's nice because then there's none of the added pressure to kind of like neutralize anything. I wanted to make a love letter to the fans and, uh, and reward them for their incredible support. I never say never about anything because, you know, you always end up by looking like a fool and then they run the tape that says, you know, you said you'd never do a movie and look at you doing a movie. Absolutely. A movie and a video game. Yeah, well, that's what John said. Uh, I don't know who he's been talking to, but yeah, why not? A lot of that will depend on how the series ends. So I don't know. You know, I mean, this saga is, is completed in my mind. Okay. And, and this, is, this is the end of this. And, you know, if there's something else in a new beginning, that's, that could be good too. But I think, you know, as you'll see when it's over, that uh, the entire four seasons needed to happen in order for us to get here emotionally for all the characters and everything. And you're going to watch these, these, these people that you've fallen in love with, you're going to watch them you know, self-actualize and, and end up in a place where I hope that everybody will feel as great as I do about them. Fearnet's coverage of Comic-Con 2012, presented by Resident Evil 6, in stores on October 2nd for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Pre-order now. Rated M for Mature.